Now in the ring, we have our five-year-olds. First place award presented by International Protein Sires, Rock Springs, Wisconsin. The Bread and Owned Award is presented by Holstein Canada. Production Rosette presented by Case IH, Racine, Wisconsin. Best Daughter Rosette presented by Holstein International and the Cattle Connection of Steins, the Netherlands. And our neck ribbons and medallions are presented by Jetstream Genetics of Watertown, Wisconsin.
Placings are complete in the Holstein five-year-old class. First, our production award winner and also Brenna known Entry 4536, placing seventh, Lynn Max Beamer Sweet Pea, exhibited by Sophie Leach, Linwood, Kansas. Placing third in the class, 4532, Jacobs High Octane Dia, exhibited by Jim Butler, Shabans, Illinois. Second in the class, 4540, Lyndon Wright Devour Movember, exhibited by Jim Butler, Shabans, Illinois. And your winning entry and best stutter, 4533, Jacobs Avalanche Bradley, exhibited by Glamour View Jaeger and Walton, and Eaton Holstein's Marietta, New York. Congratulations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, another exceptional class here in our five-year-old cow class. But this first cow for us is the complete package, a cow that's so long in her frame, she's deep and wide through the floor of her chest, and she is the best uttered cow in the class. It's that length of four utter attachment, the height, width, turn, and fullness at the top of the rear udder today that takes her over this silky dairy cow coming along in second. You really admire this second cow for her dairiness, her angularity, her silky hide, and it is that dairiness, angularity, and silkiness that take her over the big powerful cow we have coming along in third. I also prefer the four udder attachment today on the cow in second over the cow in third. But to take nothing away from this high style cow we have coming along in third, you really admire her length of frame, her straightness aligns, a cow that's extremely high and wide her rear udder attachment, but she's only had three calves and our first two cows have had four. But this third cow uses her advantage today in snugness and neatness in her four udder attachment and levelness out through her hooks and pins and the way she travels on her rear feet and legs to place over another big open rib cow we have coming along in fourth. Fourth over fifth, it's that height, width, and fullness right at the top of the rear udder that takes her over the speckled cow. And then our speckled cow over the black cow here, just the advantage when you get these two cows in line. This speckled cow just has so much more depth of four ribs, spring of four rib, depth of rear rib and flank than this silky black cow with the beautiful rear udder. Again, congratulations to our exhibitors.